welcome back. How have you been? I see you've been busy. Um, I know the last for the people that have not watched the interviews, and shame on you for not watching. Moist Brancy was on Trending with Miss Trey back in 2020 um, for the ABFF, welcoming his new project, When a Tree Falls. He's, of course, been he's a writer, producer, director, activist, artist, a man of many hats. Welcome back. Thank you for having me. And that was a great introduction. I like to say I'm a sex symbol. Uh, oh, you know, here you go. <laughs> Ever heart joke. I can't steal this joke. No, but thank you for having me. Well, I'm excited for you to be back. Um, I see you've been busy. Um, you've worked on several different projects since then. Tell us a little about what you're working on and what you've been on. I know your Law and Order is something that you are continuously on. Um, that's that's a you know salute to you, and that's one of my favorite shows. Um, so tell us a little bit what you have going on. Oh, uh, well, yeah, Law and Order was fun. It was it was fun to come back as a new character. When I first did that, I was 18 years old. I was a child, man. And I played a Trayvon Martin inspired character. Wow. That was really, really a great step for me as a young as a young kid wanting to come up. Uh, a couple of years later, they called me back for another role, and I and I told Ice T. I said Ice. Well, I told myself I said if I ever see Ice T again, I'm gonna let him know what he did for me because the first time they're gonna cover my face because I was dead on the table. Uh, and he was like, "Let me in, and get some camera time." And I was like, "Oh snap!" You know, he had my back. And uh, ever since then, it was really, really a, a great experience. And now, you know, I told him and he was like, oh, snap, I remember you. We had a conversation about music, all of that stuff. So I love I love working with him. Uh, but when it comes to my own project, uh, I'm working on uh, Warriors. Uh, if you're not familiar, shame on you if you're not familiar. But um, the Warriors is an amazing classic. And I want to bring it back as a prequel. Um, so I made a trailer and it's doing very, very well now on the internet. I've spoke to some really cool, important people that are interested and I'm very happy about that. That is exciting. So tell us about your character because these characters that you play, I will commend you. You played them to the T, you fully commit. It feels like you're, you're, you're one of them without being one of them. <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, yeah, that's really, really cool. Uh, the character's name is Cleon. Um, he's the original uh, warrior who created a, the gang so he could break away from the Destroyers, if you're familiar with the video game and how they broke it down. So uh, I just wanted to get a backstory on who was this black, you know, this ma very macho black guy in the 70s. Why was he running with um, people from the LGBTQ plus community? white people, he was, he was black, he was Asian. It was so racist back then. It was so many crazy things. What would have happened if a black man formed a gang? Uh, mm -hmm. So I just let my imagination run wild and we came up with a really beautiful product and it looks amazing. You're so humble about it because it's bigger than what you're saying. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about that collaboration or you reaching out to um, Dorsey Wright Oh yeah, man. Dorsey, uh, Dorsey is a really, really great man uh, to know. Uh, uh, for those who don't know, uh, I don't know how you don't know, but Dorsey is the original Cleon. Um, and all my life, I heard Dorsey's voice um, because I played the video game. And uh, in the video game, uh, he was just so cool. Give me that, brother. You know, <laughs> I need that. All that stuff. I was like, man, if there's ever a remake, I would love to be a Cleon or audition for the role of Cleon. And I heard the Russo brothers wanted to do it. Obviously, you know, Marvel and Captain America, all of those great things. If they're watching and you guys are doing something, I would love to audition for the role of Cleon. Um, but Dorsey is great and he and he loved the concept and he's really pushing for it. He's like, everybody, um, I would love for this man to be a part of the product and we bring it back, but bring back the backstory, their families and everything right. like that. And he posted it and it went viral and had like 130,000 views on YouTube and I was like, oh, wow, Just we just posted it organically. So um, people at Rockstar told me that um, there definitely needs a remake. So they loved it. So let's see what happens. Wink, wink. Well, I'm speaking greatness on all your projects. I'm speaking greatness on what you have going on. That's truly exciting. Where, If you had to envision where this project is going, where would you say? I would love for Paramount to pick it up and uh, and say, you know what, let's invest in I'm telling these stories about these nine young guys and their circumstances. There's so much material uh, to do, and I would love to be a part of the team and uh, to talk about 
uh, what we can do to elaborate on this amazing story that Walter here, Hill and um, Larry Gordon, and everyone at Paramount uh, created and those at Rockstar. It would just be an amazing, amazing thing. Uh, and that's the dream, right? But um, it truly was just happy to work with the people on set, you know, the cast and crew, they were amazing and it was really a fun experience. So it was awesome to show Moise Morancy my ability on screen. That's what I wanted to do. And yes. we, that's what I'm happy about. And you absolutely delivered um, your role. Like I said, if you haven't seen it, please go watch it. Um, what is something, how was, how was it casting those uh, people for the, the roles? I mean, everyone's very diverse. Yeah, and it's right. So it wasn't like it was like, you know, it was very handpicked organically. I, I yeah. can't say that. Yes, yes. Uh, man, and you did your research. Damn, girl, you're good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but for me, um, I am a fan of the Warriors, but I really wanted authentic people. I spoke to Alexander Panecki, who played um, Ajax, and he had the feel and he really was going deep into the character, into the clothing. You know, mm -hmm. I spoke to... Um, Keenan Collins, uh, and who is a very eclectic individual, and he represented for Rembrandt. He looked exactly like Rembrandt with the afro and everything like that. So we had so many uh, people who were just so great and all the other uh, cast. Um, so they just really loved the story and they understood it. And I think people who look at it would understand that, man, there's material here that needs to be uh, expounded on. You know what I mean? So um, I, I really, it was a fun time and difficult time casting everyone. Uh, but to get everyone to buy in was really, uh, really the fun part. And this was also filmed during this pandemic that we're still in two years later. Yeah, How was that trying to film? Uh, don't tell nobody you snitching. Uh, I ain't shooting during a pandemic. It just happened to have happened when. Okay. I was going to say, how was that done? <laughs> um, I break the rules. Uh, I break the rules. Uh, they say, yo, don't shoot here. I said, all right, cool. Yes, officer. We're not going to shoot here. As soon as they were, okay, climb the thing. I right, get the camera. Careful. That's $35,000. Careful with that. Uh, and then we just wow. go and, we it, and uh, we get this up and we run out. And if we get arrested, I don't snitch because I'm a G. You are a true hustler in your art because, you know, as some people would feel that that may be a roadblock or obstacle to get permits and do all the, you know, the legwork and money expenses to be an issue. You have to just do it. You know, if it's something that you really want to get done, you just do it. Absolutely. Not that you get arrested, but. <laughs> but you know, yeah, well, you, know, you want to get it done. I just want to show people as, as much that, that I love. I love this craft acting and directing. Right. I want to show like, guys, I know that I could be this star. I can do this thing. I can film it. I can, you know, the Issa Rae's, the Donald Glover's, the Lena Waits, all of those people who I look up to and respect, you know, who can act in it and direct. I mean, it's, it's amazing. It's an amazing thing, Jamie Foxx. But I will say, I don't like that you're copying me. So I have my Bob Marley, right? And now you want to get yours. All right, man. See no, I've had my Bob Marley for two years. No, uh, no, you ain't original. Go back, like to the, go back to the first interview. <laughs> my bad. You got it. You got it. Um, no, but it's really a fun, this was really a fun experience. And I'm glad that um, I have a cool rapport with Dorsey Wright, uh, Tom Waits, who played Fox. Um, a lot of folks, the original Warriors do love it. So, uh, um, and they are the most amazing nine guys that you'll have. And, um, you know, just like in the movie, you know, they were the best. You know what I'm saying? Nobody could be uh, better than the original, you know? Right. So, the, your storylines are very um, deep and, you know, very relatable. Will we see you with a love story? <laughs> You know, uh, I do music as well. I, um, I I hate saying I do music, but uh, I love these these sounds and stuff like that. Uh, for me, um, I, there are vulnerable moments, and there that's in my music uh, when I am talking about a particular love life right. or you know, a woman who I had an experience with. Now you're getting me all all gloomy and listen. <laughs> I see. Get out your tennis player. One of them probably gonna be watching. He's talking about me. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I ain't talking about you. No, but uh, no, but for me, uh, you know, I, I, they, there are vulnerable moments, and yes, we will be seeing more of that in, in my work, especially in the music. It's just a part, all a part of the plan. Just got to be careful with the plan. Feel me? You know, I'm speaking about film. I know you probably touched that behind the scenes on a track. I'm speaking of film. Um, excuse me. Well, don't be checking me in front of people. Of you. I'm just asking. The, the, the ladies want to know. 
Only uh, seeing you in a romantic setting in a film. If yeah, I would love that. I would love that. I would. I would definitely love that. Um, this year we're exploring new things, uh, and and it would it would be awesome to have a, a female ca a character or or a, a castmate that you can um share those experiences with and, and create magic with. So that's something I'm definitely. Uh, okay, def that's your cue to go ahead and pitch the story. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so you know, uh, yeah, that's that's the stuff I want to do. You got me something. I thought I was cool. I was cool. <laughs> you know, I have to keep you on your toes. Okay. But like I say, your films are great. You're doing a great job. You 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 execute everything that you've done so far. I'm excited to see what you have coming. Um, the Warriors is going to be a great uh, project that you're working on, and it will be picked up. We're speaking. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> So I definitely appreciate you stopping by to speak with me. Um, before you go, is there anything that you want to let them know on how to reach out to you and ladies pitch the story? Um, I listen. I listen. I'm uh, I'm at a place where I'm looking for a uh, fiance. You know, if there's oh. out there that is out there that would love a uh, man that's above six feet that is <laughs> he knows how to handle himself. You know. Uh, that will take care of you, uh, who will sleep on the couch when you're working. And uh, no, I'm just kidding. Oh, wow. Is that <laughs> what we're doing? Is that I'm what we're doing? Very, I just turned, on, continue, because oh. the ladies want to know. Continue. I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just take joking. Take care. Let's see. Care, you know, just okay. to be a, and a husband and a representation of with a real strong black, blackity, black man. If that's what you want, go somewhere else. Because that ain't me. I'm a pimp. That's oh, here we go. We're back in character. <laughs> um, no, but um, no, thank you for everybody uh, watching, and I, and I appreciate you guys. Thank you for being on this journey with me. And um, I love doing interviews with you. We're going to be doing this for the rest of our lives, girl. Yes, you locked in for life. Most definitely.